Jenny D here, and I have decided to cosplay Wonder Woman. I'm still working on the costume, but I have my tiara done and I have my wig, so I thought maybe this would be a good time to just try out the makeup and see myself as Diana. This will be part makeup video, part wig review, part vlog, so basically just hang out with me while I become a more wonderful woman. So I'm not really one for doing trendy cosplays. I feel like every season there's one or two costumes where you go to a convention and there are like a hundred of that particular costume there. Like, um, Harley Quinn is like that a lot, Elsa was like that for a while. And like, more power to the people who can do those kind of costumes. I think I just am too... I'm just such a pain in the ass about it. Like, I don't want to be part of a crowd. Part of the reason why I dress up in crazy costumes and wear them in public is because like, I want you know, to stand out. Like, I want people to look at me and be like, whoa! So yeah, even though I came out of the Wonder Woman movie wishing that I were a real-life Amazon, I wasn't about to go cosplay Diana. Like, that isn't something that I would normally do. Because Wonder Woman is absolutely one of those trendy costumes, which I understand because she's amazing and her costume is badass. I think about Wonder Woman a lot. I have watched Wonder Woman a bunch of times. And I just sort of hit this point where I was like, screw it. I should cosplay her because I love her. Now, another thing that I shouldn't let influence me, but I do, is just that I don't look like her. Which, you know, who does? Like, she's like one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life. So, you know, that's a high bar. But it's not just that. I also, like, I have a little bit of a baby face. It lends itself to, oops, that was a little dark. It lends itself to, like, Disney, whereas her face is like very sharp and like she has high cheekbones and she looks very noble. The opposite of my aesthetic. Speaking of high cheekbones, I'm not good at contouring. I've watched so many videos that are like, here's how you're supposed to do it. And I watched one yesterday that was just like, all the things you're doing wrong with your makeup. And I, and I do, like, almost all of them. <laughs> How come these don't match? I just did a way better job on the other side. Is my face, does my face just not match? This side looks so good. I feel like this side looks really good. And this side's a disaster. What happened? Anyway, another reason, the main reason, honestly, is that one of my friends pitched a project to me that I would really like to be involved in, and he needed a singing Wonder Woman, and I was basically like, stop the presses, I'll do it! That's pretty good, that's probably like the closest I've ever gotten to believably contouring cheekbones. I always feel like I'm going too dark, and then afterwards I look at it and I'm like, I wasn't doing anything. Like in my Zoya video, I'm like, I go really extreme on this contour, and then you can't see anything that I'm doing. The Wonder Woman movie made a huge impact on me. Like, I've started going to the gym recently. Oh, I should show you my arms, they're so strong. They're not so strong, but like, I'm very proud of them. They're much stronger than they were. Ready? Don't laugh at me because this is not impressive at all. Oh, wow, I'm just tendons. I'm just nothing but tendons. That's happening. Something's happening there. See, both sides. Oh yeah. Not Amazon level yet, but I'm working on it. Anyway, the point is I've been going to the gym. You know, because the thing about the gym is like, you're doing all these really hard things, but like, you're the only one making you do it. So, you could stop after like, three reps. No one would, excuse me. If you're gonna lay down, then you gotta lay down. Anyway, the point is that you have to have a lot of self-control to work out. Because you have to be like, I know that this thing really hurts, and that I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And you have to do that over and over for like an hour, two to three times a week. So whenever I hit that point where I'm like, I could give up right now and no one would know, I think about the Amazons. <laughs> you know, 20 seconds into a 25 second plank. And I'll be like, Diana would want me to keep going. I feel like I look like I have cheekbones for the first time in my life. Okay, so except for the cheekbones, all of this is pretty basic. The things that are gonna make a real difference in me looking like Wonder Woman, maybe, if I succeed, is gonna be the eye makeup and the brows, and then a little bit the lips too, I think. Let's do brows. Can we just talk about how wonderful it is that like, bold brows are a thing now? Because I grew up having like, naturally really thick, hairy brows, and I didn't start plucking them until like college, and they were not cool then. If you would've told high school Ginny that she would be beefing up her brows with makeup, I would not believe you. Okay, I feel like I have talked a lot about things I like about Wonder Woman, and I just wanna point out something 
that I didn't like. There's like one thing I didn't like. We never see Diana figure out she can fly. She just like starts flying at some point. And then by the end of the movie, she's just like blasting off whenever she feels like it. Like, did it not, was there no point where she was like, oh, I can fly. That's crazy. And it's before she realizes she's a god. The Amazons couldn't fly. Like they were doing some big flying leaps, but they couldn't fly. So it's not like she just thinks flying is a normal thing. See, no movie is perfect. One of the things I love so much about the Wonder Woman movie is how she's like soft and like excitable and wholesome and like sweet. Because I feel like there's this idea that in order to be strong, a female character has to be like hard and mean. And it's not that I don't like the occasional hard, mean female character. Like we need the Rosa Diaz's of the world. But I love that Diana is allowed to be like this crazy strong hero, but also get excited to see a baby and like, you know, really enjoy ice cream. Normally I'm trying to make my eyes look bigger because I'm doing like Disney characters or cartoon characters who have like giant eyes. But when I do a more serious character like this, my giant Disney princess eyes become a hindrance rather than a help. So I have lined on the insides of them as much as I can to try and make them appear smaller and more superhero-y. These look too big, you know, like that's too much. How about these then? I have really little lips and I have only recently begun experimenting with overlining just like a little and so far I've pretty much only done it in my jester costume where it's like easy to do because all of my skin is covered up but pretty much every famous actress lady has big beautiful lips so we'll see what I can do. I am a woman of wonder. So for my Wonder Woman, I have been sponsored a wig from Eva Hair. I love this wig company. They actually made the wig that I use for my season seven Aria. I am really, really picky about the lace fronts that I use because I have a small head and none of the lace from the popular brands ever lays flat on my head all the way from temple to temple, but Eva Hair's wigs do. Also, they always send wig caps in the box, which is A plus. Wig caps are one of those things where when I'm cleaning the house, I have a million, but when I need one, I have zero. These packs come with two caps, which is perfect because I use two every single time that I wear a wig. So this is the Foxwater Wavy Synthetic Lace Front Wig. It is 24 inches long and it is made of heat resistant high temperature silk. That means that this wig can be heat styled just like your real hair can. So if you don't want it to be curly, you can straighten it with a straightening iron. Or if you have straightened it, you can curl it with a curling iron. So this is a lace front wig. You can see the fibers are hand tied to this fine mesh at the front so it'll look like it's growing out of my skin. And the rest of the wig is wefted. It has sewn in clips to help hold it onto your hair. And of course it has these little resizing straps so you can make sure it fits your head exactly and it stays snug. Of course step one is trimming the lace so I'm gonna grab some scissors and we'll do that. Okay that's the lace off. So I made this tiara from Warbla. I'm still learning on the Warbla front so hopefully it looks okay. So I'm just gonna run a brush through it really quick to just loosen up these curls. They're very ringlety right now. You can see there's some really nice color variation in this wig, which I love for a realistic look because most people have some slight color variation in their hair. If a wig's colors are too flat, it can make it look fake. I was wrong. Tiara needs to come second. Now I'm just gonna anchor down the temples really quick. This wig is so thick and so gorgeous. It's just like, what my hair would look like if I could have the hair of my dreams. <laughs> Ginny as Wonder Woman. Wonder Ginny. This wig 100% makes me feel like an Amazon goddess. <laughs> 10 out of 10, do recommend. And actually the curl pattern is perfect for this. It's not too ringlety, it's not too like beach bunny. We did it. Well, I don't know if I look like Wonder Woman, but we did the task we set out to do. I think if I set it a little higher, Makes my face look a little longer, maybe. 
Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. If you want to get this specific wig, I will put the link into the description and I will also just put the link to Eva Hare's website and their social media in case you want to check out their other wigs. They have absolutely beautiful lace fronts. I have never gotten a wig from them that I'm disappointed in. And you can get 20% off of any purchase at their site with the code Ginny D. That's Ginny space D. I will put it on the screen so you can see exactly how to type it. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to go take 500 selfies. Make sure to subscribe for more videos of all kinds. Bye.